Today, Seattle and King County said they'd be willing to float $200 million in bonds to build a new arena. And the deal doesn't have, even have to include a hockey team this time. King 5's Chris Daniels joins us now. He's been following the story all along and... Sounds pretty good, Chris. Yeah, Gene. Today, we in fact learned this arena could be built without an NHL team, and the city and county would have to invest less if that is the case. A formal agreement now goes to the city and county councils for approval or rejection with public hearings perhaps by the end of the month and likely a vigorous debate. Let's think about what we're doing on the investment for Seattle. Lee Nugent looks south of downtown and smiles at an idea. We have the infrastructures to uh, grow another stadium or another arena in that area. The head of the Seattle Building and Construction Trades Council believes a proposed arena south of Safeco Field would create 1,200 union jobs. So thank you, Chris. The project took a big step today with the MOU. Investor Chris Hansen signing a legal document pledging $290 million. As long as the city picks up $120 million in bonds, the county 80, all repaid by arena revenue. Hansen says if he can only get an NBA team, the city, which would own the arena, and county would pay less. Hansen also agreeing to pick up revenue shortfalls. The deal makes no mention of transportation improvements. People coming to the city to an event is a good thing. <laughs> the mayor's response is just very indifferent. Michael Ennis of the Washington Policy Center says the Mariners and Port's voiced concerns are valid. And money should also be spent to keep freight moving. The city has done 10 studies in the last 10 years that identify these same issues. Hansen, for his part, believes arena traffic would not interfere with weekday business. The majority of NBA and NHL events occur in the evening. But it may end up being the key issue as the project passes the crossroads, heading towards the finish line. Hansen says his self-funded traffic study should be ready next week. The Mariners had no comment today on the MOU, but the port in a statement said, while the proposal has benefits, it also has the potential to hamper industry, and there should be a thorough analysis before moving forward All on right. the project. Keep us posted, Chris. Thank Will you. Be, thanks.